Hi, I'm John. I'm presenting the USS Wolverine here at the Air Zoo. The Wolverine was one of two Lake Michigan aircraft carriers. A lot of people are not aware that the U.S. Navy had aircraft carriers for training uh, young pilots on the Great Lakes. These began life as Lake Michigan excursion boats. They would take people up and down the Great Lakes and around to Lake Ontario, up to Buffalo, New York, and would be used uh, for passengers. One was called the SS Greater Buffalo, the other one was called the SS C and B. Now the company that had the two Lake Michigan excursion boats was going out of business. So the Navy stepped in, purchased both of these Lake Michigan excursion boats and then proceeded to revamp them as aircraft carriers. They were home ported at Navy Pier in Chicago and every day they would go out and young naval aviators would come out from Glenview Naval Air Station which was just outside of Chicago, navigate their way out to the aircraft carriers and practice landings and takeoffs. It was said that anywhere between five and ten landings and takeoffs would qualify you for uh, carrier service. As a matter of fact, President George H.W. Bush did his training on the USS Sable and then went on to, to fly in World War II. They used various kinds of airplanes, usually war-weary airplanes like the Dauntless up here, and they would be coming out, landing and uh, taking off. This is the, these are the only paddle wheel aircraft carriers in the U.S. Navy's history because the Lake Michigan excursion boats uh, had no turbine engines, uh, no screws, no propellers. So what they did was just go on with the paddle wheels. And that provided enough propulsion to get them out of the lake and uh, heading into the wind would provide them with enough wind over the deck so that they could take off, the pilots could take off. Everybody that was working on the SS, USS Wolverine and Sable were also learning how to work on aircraft carriers. So once you uh, fulfilled your qualification, you were then sent to the fleet and you would begin working on real live US Navy aircraft carriers.